What's up guys, it's Chris. Today we're doing the ultimate wall hack survivor build and I'll be showing the perks on the screen now. This build lets you see the killer at almost all times and I thought about switching out Blast Mine for Object of Obsession, but having something to defend Wiretap felt really good for me personally. In the first game we played against the Nemesis on Midwitch and the double floors makes for some pretty huge Wiretap value. And in the second game we played on Shelter Woods which doesn't have much to offer to survivors for looping, but the key and other aura reading perks gave us so much value, we didn't need much. I think this build is super fun and definitely worth trying out in your games, but I'll let you guys see it for yourselves. I'm gonna leave that. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, Nemi, I can see you. Looks like he's leaving. See you, bud. Alert value. Go back for the window early. Yeah, I should make that pretty easy. I think we have the window here for the stairs. Which is a vibe. He's dipping again. Wire tap, dubbing it up. Look at that. I don't even need the key. Okay, perfect. Let's run him kind of near this gen still. Yeah, it does work above. That's pretty cracked. Hmm, nice. Might be dead here. Swung a little bit early. Oh! Why did it cut out the- Oh, they st <laughs> they finished my gen. <laughs> See if we can find another good gen like that. We don't want to play this pound at all. It's a death trap. Wow. That was tier two. He's got the fucking extendo tier two. Brother, I'm crouched on the fat side of the pallet. Uh, oh shit, is this rinsed? I think this area might be rinsed. Nope, we got one pallet. Not a great one to play around, to be fair, but... I like where his head's at. I'm gonna just leave. Go this way, that's pretty good. Let's check where he's at on our key. Not break the pallet. We're gonna take the vault. Should be able to make this window no problem. Oh, is he leaving me? Okay. It's good. God damn it. I'm using the god pal, bro. I don't give a fuck. This is the end of the fucking game. Let me get my perks on this shit. Dude, watch the zombie. I dodged it! All right, we can just pop the trap now because it lasts 45 seconds and that's about how much time's left on the gen. Well, the gen's blocked, so we'll get like guaranteed wiretap value. Look at that. <coughs> Wanted to kill the zombie. This is good. Oh, this is already dropped and dead. Oh my god. Oh, 
Give me value! Value! Window! Oh my god! Let me leave me alone! I need my wiretap! I'm naked without it! That's pretty good, alert value. <coughs> Wish we had the key still. Did we make that? Close. Okay, we're not that thing though. It's not too bad. Okay, now it's bad. Now I'm in bad shape. Alright, let's heal up and see if we can help Nico quick. R.I.P. Nico. We're dipping. We're out of there. Okay, Shelter Woods. Oh my god, he's painting a picture. Look at that. Huntress Lullaby, too. Big value. Let's run back past our gen so we can get even more on a wiretap. Uh, bud? Hey, this way, bud. Wow, that was a crazy guess. Uh, actually, yeah. That was really good. That, that was a gamble by him, but that was nice. Go back to this loop now. Every time he takes a pock shot, you can get massive distance as survivor. It slows him down so much. Take this pallet now. Oh, he's gonna probably just lose off this chase because we can permanently s oh oh my god what are you Lord, how's that I do it but This guy's an odd fella. We're gonna have to be a little more careful. We need to use the key a bit more. Getting these double, double window loops is pretty terrible for us. What? He's got the extendo. Do we trade keys, Kefka? Oh, thank you. I don't know, the build's pretty solid though. I should have been getting better value out of the key than I was. But just by itself, the build's pretty cracked for chase and everything. I just have so much free info. Especially for solo queue, I think this build's really good. Buddy. Take this window again. Should make it no problem. Okay, looks like he's leaving. 
Did he have no way out? I thought that door would be ready. Must have been. If that would have hit me, it definitely would have been some ping issues that I would not have been a fan of. Where's the second door over there? I think so. I'm not positive exactly where I should run, so I'm like kind of playing it safe, and we get a free chase out of it. It is there, right? But I'm dead. It's hard to find out. I thought that door, he probably had no way out. That's probably why the door wasn't done. It is there. And it's not getting opened. I'm dead. Damn. That is gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think this build is pretty crazy for solo queue. The amount of value we got from every one of the perks was pretty crazy. We knew where the killer was at all times. Really helpful in chase, really helpful across the map. At all times, we had constant info of the killer. So I definitely encourage you guys to try it out if you haven't. But anyway, if you did enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you guys in the next one.